What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about uh, over-under pass, how to stop over-under. Because uh, over-under pass is uh, one of the biggest problems for uh, butterfly guard players, especially if you play lazy version of the butterfly guard when your upper body is on the mat. Then it's quite easy for your opponent to uh, get under your legs or at least try to get under your legs. Okay, so we're gonna uh, break down four ways to deal with that. So I'm in a lazy butterfly guard position. So my legs are in and I got my controls here. So those controls here, the frame is gonna be very essential. Uh, because of that frame, I can keep my opponents away from this, this hip and this side. And it's gonna make uh, a lot of uh, our moves easier, okay? So, first of all, I'm controlling the collar, and second, I'm controlling the wrist, I'm controlling the sleeve on the level of the wrist, okay? So, now, first type of defense is whenever we can work in a good timing and we're, we're able to uh, put a shield crossing our opponent's arm before he gets in, okay? So, whenever I see he's, tr he's trying to come in, I'm gonna put my leg like this, crossing his arm. So my shin goes on his, uh, on his uh, elbow, okay? Bending his arm inside. So right now it's gonna be really, really hard for my opponent to lift up my leg. It's, Cause right now my leg is being heavy. I'm putting some pressure on his elbow and it's gonna be hard for him to lift my leg up in this, in this position. So from here, whenever, whenever I stop him like this, I can work my way with my knee towards the inside to come back to the lazy butterfly guard position. But also I can use the movement now, I can use the, uh, the whole structure now to pull my opponent into a triangle. Okay, so that's a very nice movement giving us some, uh, some options to counter our opponent's pass, okay? So let's let's switch the side. So right now, whenever he wants to come in, I'm crossing my shin through his arm on the level of the elbow. So as you can see, I'm bending his, his arm inside towards his hip. And now I can choose if I wanna come back to the guard or if I wanna use the setup to attack. So if I wanna come back to the guard, I'm gonna dig with my knee in, pulling his arm up and putting my hook back inside of, uh, between his legs, okay? So, now number two. Number two needs a bit, uh, a bit of flexibility and it's gonna be very essential now to keep the good frame. So whenever my opponent gets inside and he and he got right away to the over under pass, first thing I want to do is I don't want him to go all the way towards this hip. Okay, I don't want to end up in this position. So I'm using my frame, especially this one, the top arm, to put him away. So he's not able to push through with his head, right? So right now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna push my opponent back and I'm gonna pommel my leg in. But my arm is on the way, so I have to pommel in, now let go the grip, and I like to put my, uh, my shin underneath my opponent's armpit. So right now I can use the move to counter with a, uh, half guard entry. Okay, so once again, so he comes in, first thing, I keep him away from the outside hip. I don't want him to push through. Even if he tries to, uh, to push, even if he puts the, the toes on the mat, I can still use my hips to go back to maintain the good distance. So from here, I'm gonna push him back. So I'm creating the space here for my leg, pummel the leg in, and as I'm pummeling, I'm gonna let go the grip and I'm gonna put the hook 
underneath my opponent's armpit. Now I'm coming back with my with my uh, grip on his on his collar, and I'm gonna open up the space with my shin, entering to the half guard. Of course, I don't have to enter the half guard. I can just use the move to get back to butterfly guard, classic one, or I can stay here in the lazy version. Let's change the angle. So he comes in and I'm keeping him away with my frame. Now I'm pummeling the leg in, in front of my opponent. I let go the grip and I put the hook underneath his armpit. I come back with the grip on the collar. Now I'm gonna choose which way I wanna go. If I wanna get back to butterfly guard position, or maybe I wanna use the entry to get to the half guard. Now, third version. We're gonna control our opponent's arm and we're gonna open up the space uh, to get to his back. So, whenever, whenever he gets in, with the over under. First thing I want to do is I want to scoop my hips out. So I don't want to be like this with my hips flat on the mat. So always I push him back with my frame and I scoop my hips out. Now what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle the top leg, top arm. I'm going to let go the grip here and I'm going to grab his shoulder. So I'm actually wrapping my arm around his arm. So I'm having like a scoop on his shoulder and underneath his armpit. Now I'm gonna stretch my leg and with a straight leg, I'm gonna push down, creating the pressure on his arm, okay? So this grip holds the shoulder in a place. Now my leg, my stiff leg pushes down the elbow. So I'm creating the pressure. Whenever he lets go the grip, because he has to, because he feels the, the pressure in his, uh, in his shoulder and in his elbow, whenever he lets go the grip, I'm gonna stick to his back. I'm gonna get the uh, seat belt control, hook on the shin here, and I'm gonna start working my way towards his back. Let's change the angle. So he comes in, first thing, I scoop my hips out a little bit. Now, I circle to get underneath. So I'm really wrapping my arm around his arm. So I'm wrapping my arm here, around his arm, and I'm grabbing the armpit. Now I'm gonna stretch my leg, because with, a, with banded leg, I can't create enough pressure here. My leg has to be straight. So now I can push his elbow down really hard. So he has to let go the grip. As I'm breaking the grip, get the grip. As I'm breaking the grip, I'm raising up and I'm putting my chest on my opponent's back. I'm sticking my chest tight, working on the seat belt control and dragging him to get to his back. Let's go here once again. So first, I scoop my hips out, wrap the arm around, make the legs straight, push down, work for the back. Now, the fourth option is gonna be the worst situation. When my open head is already on the other side, on my far hip. So this happens as well, and nobody likes that position. So whenever his, his head gets here, first thing, I'm gonna keep the grip on the, on the sleeve. I don't wanna let go uh, that one. And now I'm gonna circle my grip from the collar again to get the control over his head. Okay, so I'm making like a, like a scoop here. And now I'm gonna 
push my opponent's head to the other side and I'm gonna work with my leg to pin his shoulder down. So first, I have to push his head to the other side and I have to scoop my hips. As I'm doing that, as I'm able to do that, I'm gonna use my top leg to pin his shoulder down, right? So from here, again, I'm gonna work to get to his back, seat belt control, pull, fight for the other hook. Let's change the angle. So again, he got all the way towards the other side. I control the wrist, I keep that one, but this one, I circle to get the control over his head. Now I have to push his head towards the other side and I have to scoop my hips out. So if you don't feel like you're able to scoop your hips, you can use the top leg to help yourself. So I'm putting the top leg on the mat. Now I'm gonna push my opponent to, towards the other side and I'm gonna go with my knee on top of his shoulder. So I'm really like pinning him down. Let's go, let's go back one more time. So it's one, two, I pin, and now I'm gonna slide my leg down to get the control over his back. Drag his hips towards the mat, fight for the other hip. Those have been uh, my four main options to defend over underpass. The very problematic pass for every butterfly guard player, especially if you like uh, my lazy butterfly guard. And if you like butterfly guard in general, you have to check my uh, new DVD, Butterfly Guard Race Cover Complete Version. It's all the butterfly guard knowledge gathered together, uh, years of experience as a black belt, competing, training, sparring every day. It's all there, how to play the guard, how to get on top, how to defend, how to submit, and how to connect with other positions like single leg X, reverse de la Hiva, and lapels as well. So check that one out, please, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.